This is an example video to show you how to use macros to variableize your read database queries. We'll bring in our read database operator and I'll configure it on the right. I'm going to connect to a predefined connection. Let's say the all samples. I'm going to build a very simple query here which is get me everything from the customer data. I'll hit OK and when I play it we'll get to see all the data is in that is in this particular table. Let's say for today's example, we need to filter out the data to only one of the genders. To do that, if I go back to the design tab, I could go ahead and in the SQL query builder window, I could add a filter clause saying where gender equals to male or female and hit OK. If I run this process one more time, you'll notice that the gender is now male for all the rows and the number of rows is dropped down to 499. However, obviously, we do not want to be changing the query all the time, so RapidMiner provides a way to parameterize those query. To do that, we'll go back to the SQL query window, and instead of hard coding the value of mail, we'll use RapidMiner macros. Macros are used with this syntax, where the macro name is enclosed in percentage, followed by curly braces, and the macro name. So let's assume my macro for this particular use case is selected gender. If I hit OK here and try to run, RapidMiner will complain that it does not know about this selected gender macro. To define this macro, we'll use an operator called a set macro. We'll bring it in the process and then I can say set the value of selected gender as male. Now one of the things that is going to happen is because we added this operator later on, the execution order is not going to be correct or at least we'll want the set macro to be executed before the read database operator. To do that, I can enable the order and then we'll right click on the set macro operator and bring it to front. By doing this, I'm ensuring that the set macro operator executes before the read database operator. I can hit play again to verify and you'll notice now the gender is only male. I can go back to my set macro operator and change the value one more time to female to verify this works correctly. And now we are looking at only the female population. Obviously this is one of the ways to control the database queries. We are using the set macro operator. However, in certain cases you might want to do it via the context. If you do not have your context view enabled, you could bring it in your view by show panel and enable the macros view or the context view as needed. Over here, I'll add the same macro and we can pass the value. Remember the execution order is the context variables are set first, but then if your process is using the set macro operator, it will override the settings that the context provides. So to avoid that problem, I'm going to disable this so that the values from the context are actually what is passed. To test this one more time, we'll run the play and you'll notice the values that I have here are male because the values that I'm sending from the context is male. We'll quickly change this to female to verify this works correctly. And there you go. I have the gender equals to female. Now this is obviously one of the ways to do it. If I go back to the process, you'll also notice RapidMiner provides the ability to use prepared statements. That is generally considered a more secure way of passing parameters to queries. To do that, I will have to modify my query. We'll have to say where gender equals to question mark. Now, as part of our prepared statement, I can go ahead and say that I'm going to pass a wirecar and my first value is going to be selected gender and hit OK. What happens here is RapidMiner sets the macro value in the parameter which is then used in the prepare statement. To see this working, I'll run the play and you'll notice now I'm looking at only the female population. If I go back to my context window and change it to male, we should ideally just see the male population. So not only you can change the macro values through set macro or the context, but you could also use prepare statement to make a secure replacement, avoiding any SQL injection attacks. Hopefully this video is helpful. Thank you.